Hey y'all, welcome into the shifter. I'm Matt again, and uh, we had a race at Homestead this weekend. It's being recorded a little late in the week, but that's okay. Happy Halloween to everybody who's watching, and uh, before we get into it, let's get into the sponsors. Uh, go watch it, Milan show on YouTube or any of her under, other stuff that she made, uh, movie-wise or stuff like that. Uh, go follow Brie at Brie Casso on Instagram. She made our logo. It may or may not be in the thumbnail as always. Uh, go follow Terrell on Instagram and uh, at Grateful Studios for his uh, clothes. And go watch Ken and Ant's YouTube channel. They're not the same. I don't know why I always group them together. Ant has his own. Ken has his own. Just go watch them. Um, and uh, as for the stories before we get into the cup race, uh, Grant Imfinger won the truck race, winning his second straight race, which means nobody knew advances to the final round of the playoffs. But Christian Eckes, a Corey Himes, seem pretty safe going into the final race, and it seems like it'll be Ty Majeski versus Raja Karuth for the final spot, but other guys like Taylor Gray have a shot of winning and getting their way in, so we'll see there. Um, in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, Austin Hill won on the non-super speedway track to get himself into the championship four, joining AJ Allmendinger, Austin Hill's first ever championship four. Uh, I know that might be a little hard to believe, but uh, he has gotten bounced in the round of eight, it seems like, every year, but this year he will be going to the championship four, uh, joining AJ Allmendinger. Um, and then the Xfinity Series, just a mixed bag. Just the Algar and Cole Custer, I believe, have the final two spots right now. But anything can happen at Martinsville, especially in the Xfinity Series. But getting into the cup race, um, a lot of the playoff guys qualified up front. Uh, Tyler Reddick qualified on the pole for this race, needing a desperately good result. Uh, after his flip at Las Vegas last week, um, he would rock it off into turns one and two. But uh, Justin Haley would spin on a lap one or two. I don't remember exactly which lap it was. And uh, drivers like Chase Elliott and a couple other playoffs drivers like Ryan Blaney would barely get through uh, the spin here early for Justin Haley. And remarkably, nobody would hit him. Harrison Burton and John Hunter Nemechek would make a little bit of contact back in the back, but it really didn't affect much. As you know, they kind of ran in the back anyways. Sorry, guys. Um, but they didn't have too much damage either. They continued uh, on. Um, and then after that, we kind of got into a green flag run, which we saw a flurry of playoff drivers swap the lead, such as Tyler Reddick, Chase Elliott, Christopher Bell, all of those guys. And um, it seemed like uh, they were the three fastest cars. Denny Hamlin would come through, but Tyler Reddick would win stage one for the third straight week. Uh, and after this stage, he's got to be thinking. Uh, the last two weeks have not gone too well. He's been airborne in both weeks. I know he flipped last week, but he was airborne at the Roval um after he won stage one so you're kind of wondering ah what's gonna happen to tyler reddick well tyler reddick would fade in stage two starting off the stage bubba wallace would make an incredible move for the lead he would have a little funny radio line but quickly it would be taken back by chase elliott chase elliott would lead for a while um and then diddy hamlin would actually come up and take the lead and they would kind of duke it out for stage two it'd be the hamlin elliott show a battle that we've seen lots of times in the past and uh this stage would go to diddy hamlin also, uh, it was either, I don't remember exactly which stage it was in. I think it was stage one. Kyle Larson blew a tire. Uh, was riding next to the wall because it's homestead and it's Kyle Larson. But um, So not too much damage there, but he blew a tire. And uh, it, hurt, it did some damage to his diffuser. Uh, a little part of the underbody of the car. We all know how important that is. So uh, Kyle Larson was a little bit down on speed and in the back of the pack. And you're kind of thinking that he's done. But uh, we're getting into stage three where a new player emerges with Ryan Blaney. He would take the lead away from Chase Elliott in this stage. Ryan Blaney would rock it off. Then it seemed like uh, throughout the green flag run, Ryan Blaney and Chase Elliott might battle for this victory. They kind of went back and forth for a while. Denny Hamlin would come into play a couple other times. Um, but, <coughs> sorry. But um, later on in the stage, uh, Kyle Larson would start coming back through. And it seemed like Kyle Larson was going to make a move for a win as he would get into second place. He would get on the outside of Ryan Blaney as they were trying to get around the lap car of Austin Dillon. They would not really make contact, but it would lose. Uh, Kyle Larson would lose a little grip going into the corner, trying to thread the needle, and he would spin. This kind of changed everything. As Tyler, This really benefited Tyler Reddick, who had stayed out late, hoping for a caution, but just narrowly got back on the lead lap and only had two laps on his tires, so he could stay out and take the lead of the race. Coming on to the final restart, Kyle Larson would fall to around like 10th or 11th and wind up finishing 13th because they had to close something on the bottom of the diffuser. They described it really well in the broadcast if you'd like to go look at that, but if they left it open, then the downforce would just be terrible in the car. Um, 
But here we go. Ryan Blaney, Denny Hamlin front row. Oh, Tyler Reddick, Ryan Blaney front row. Denny Hamlin right behind them. Christopher Bell, Chase Elliott, William Byron. All six guys needing a victory in this race. All coming to the front. All coming with a shot to win here on this final restart. Uh, by the way, I've not mentioned Joey Logano because he was a non-factor in this race. But for him, it probably doesn't really matter. Uh, yes, the guy that was 17th in points throughout the year is in the final four first. But uh, point system, woo. But um, here we go. Uh, restart. Tyler Reddick is quickly overtaken by Ryan Blaney and Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin would take the lead with an amazing move to the bottom of the track under both of them. It seemed like Denny Hamlin, for the first time since I believe they said 2020 or 2021 on the broadcast, was going to make the Final Four. But then coming to, two to, coming to the white flag, Ryan Blaney would make a move, rocket underneath him, and take the lead. And it seemed like this was going to be the champs return to the Final Four right here, winning the race at Homestead. Tyler Reddick gets around Denny Hamlin also in one and two. Tyler Reddick goes to the top. Blaney doesn't block the top. Tyler Reddick just absolutely sends it, rifles it around Ryan Blaney, and Tyler Reddick wins this race and moves on to the championship for joining Joey Logano uh, after the race. The points picture, uh, Christopher Bell's pretty safe. He's about 30 points above the cut line. William Byron has the last spot in, plus seven over Kyle Larson. Uh, Denny Hamlin is about 18 out, I believe. Ryan Blaney is 38 out in seventh, and Chase Elliott is in eighth, 43 points out. Uh, pretty much a must win for Ryan Blaney and Chase Elliott at this point. Uh, Denny Hamlin can't make it up on points, but that's going to be a pretty tough task with uh, going to Martinsville where it's kind of just based on qualifying right now with how the short track package works. But maybe we could get a tire like we got for the Spring Bristol race or something that'll spice it up or even the last Richmond race. Um, do we only have one Richmond? No, we have two. We have two this year. So next year we only have one because we're going to Mexico City. But uh, yeah, uh, the top, I'll give you the guys the top five. I don't remember the top 10 completely. Uh, first place was Tyler Reddick, second place was Ryan Blaney, third place Denny Hamlin, fourth place Christopher Bell, and fifth place for Chase Elliott. Um, outside of that, uh, we had a couple of silly season news, silly season stories, that just did not sound right, silly season news, ooh, <laughs> but, um, uh, Bubba Wallace will be getting a new crew chief, uh, he will be getting Christian Eckes' crew chief from the truck series for the 2025 season, Booty Barker will be staying with 2311 Racing, it is not known where what his role will be. Uh, there's been rumors that Riley Hurts will be going to a third car, but the lawsuit has kind of made that weird whether or not they're even going to have a third car next year, and I've heard rumors that Booty could go to that third car. But um, And yes, his name's Booty. Yes, I'm taking the cheap joke with his name being Booty. I'm so funny. But, uh, so... Uh, Booty Barker, uh, not quite sure what he'll be doing, but he will be 2311. Uh, speaking of the lawsuit, uh, 2311 and Front Row got denied some sort of documents that NASCAR had to show. You guys can go look at that. People that are more legal savvy than me because I don't know what the hell all that means, uh, to be completely honest with you. But we'll see what happens there with all that. We probably won't know much until the off season. I'm sure they're kind of waiting to do all that. So we'll see if uh, 2311 and Front Row are open cars next year or if they are chartered cars. Um, that's going to be interesting to figure out all of that. Uh, let's see. Um, is there really any more silly season news? There's rumors that John Hunter Nemechek could be out of the 42 next year and Corey Heim could be going in. I don't really know. Uh, Chandler Smith also voiced this week that he does not have a ride for next year. One of the, uh, final eight in the Xfinity Series may not be driving at all next year due to his sponsorship running out. Uh, he made the line that he could be going working for his dad's construction company. Somebody needs to sign him, though, because he's an amazing talent. I'm sure somebody will. Hopefully, it's a competitive ride in the Xfinity Series or even the Truck Series for him because he does deserve it. He has a lot of talent. Uh, that is a problem in the NASCAR right now is that you need a big check, and it's not always about talent. But we do have a lot of talented drivers, too, as well. But um, there's rumors that Daniel Hemrick could be going to drive the 19 because, you know, Christian Dekas is going over to Colleague. Um in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, so uh, Daniel Hemrick could be going to drive that car uh, next year for Bill McAnally in the Truck Series. There's also rumors that NASCAR might fill the team to kind of fill the team cost next year, and Daniel Hemrick could be that driver for that part-time team. I don't know exactly how that would work, but we'll see if those rumors come to fruition. Dell Jr. is bringing back the Bud Number 8 in the late model series uh, next year, so that, uh, not next year, uh, he will be bringing it back next year, but he will bring, bring it back at Florence on November 22nd. So that will be very interesting to see. <coughs> I know that's nostalgic for a lot of people, including me. So excited for uh, Dale Jr. to be back on the track of the Bud Number no. 8 car. Might even have to buy Flow Racing for that. That'll be really fun to see. Um, 
And besides that, uh, Jesse Love signed Nick City for Drew Chillers next year. Not a shocker. I think everybody saw that coming. He will be back in the will in number two in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And uh, we'll see if he can get in the Final Four this weekend at Martinsville. Uh, Ray really good at Homestead this past week, just like his teammate Austin Hill went up winning the race. Um, but besides that, we'll go to Martinsville, uh, 2.30 p.m. Eastern on NBC for the Cup Series race. The, X the truck race is tonight, Friday night at uh, 6 p.m. And uh, the Xfinity race is 4 o'clock on Saturday. So we'll see who the Final Four are. And uh, hopefully all three races are mar are good at Martinsville like they were at Homestead. Uh, and uh, two more episodes of The Shifter. So uh, enjoy them. Uh, we'll see. It will be They'll be gone for a while after this. So two more races in the NASCAR season. Two more episodes of The Shifter. Have some... Have some fun this weekend. Have a good weekend. And uh, everybody uh, stay safe. Uh, thanks for watching.